He drinks a lot. He drinks a lot. More than any owl I've ever seen, even if he's not out of breath. And he's drinking a little bit less, I think, now than when we first got him. I think it was just very dry here compared to Indiana. There's also something we're wondering if there's not just something in his brain that is making him think whenever he encounters running water, he should drink because being in an Arctic environment, it being frozen so often, it might be, you know, God knows when you're going to see it again. Or if they're flying over the ocean, you know, it's going to be salt. So, anyway, does anybody have any questions? I mean, I can talk about him and why we have him or talk about snowy owls in general, but I thought it would be better if you guys asked questions specifically either about him or what we take out of his legs. And the females are juvenile females lose a certain amount of the black hatch marks every year and then kind of stop. The males just get whiter and whiter. So when they're between two or three years old, it can be very difficult to tell a sub adult male from a sub adult male. Your place or if it was the sound of the bottle, or what. But the other problem with working with a pure white bird is just a little bit of poop or anything or blood, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Ah, the snowy owl is dirty, he's a mess. And then it just bugs you and you want to get rid of it.